Hello, my name is Joan Lipkin, and it is my great pleasure to present Athens Award for Leadership in Community-Based Theater and Civic Engagement, which honors an individual or theater company that has demonstrated sustained commitment and a significant impact in the field. This year's 2020 ATHA Award for Leadership in Community-Based Theater and Civic Engagement goes to Indigenous Direction, led by Larissa Fasthorse and Ty Defoe, because their work is both timely and timeless. They are pioneers in showcasing Native voices on the stage of many regional theaters, often for the first time, and they approach each community with great care. As we continue to unpack what America was, is, and is evolving into, they are committed to giving space and voice to Indigenous peoples. We applaud their tireless approach to transforming the stages of many theaters for the first time and to turning the American theater into a more just and equitable ecology that honors and acknowledges the past, present, and future of the lands on which we live and the communities in which we make art. For the work of indigenous direction is vital to the fabric of America. Congratulations, Indigenous Direction. And now we will hear from Ty Defoe and Larissa Fasthorse. Thank you so much, Chi Miigwech Nindawe Namaganog. Um, it is, I'm, I'm smiling because I'm very excited um, hearing you read those words about uh, some of the work that we have done and are doing, and also smiling about all the individuals who we have encountered when doing this work. Um, you know, it is a, a great humbling experience to receive this recognition for work that we deeply, deeply are invested in and care about at Indigenous Direction. Um, you know, every time we have a project or we work within the community. It is um, a mental, emotional, and physical uh, dedication to um, protecting the sacred, creating narrative reparations, and just um, creating a community. So um, that is what, with great effort between our community partners, as well as other folks on the ground who have been doing this work for a very long, long time. So it's um, a, a, a great uh, gratitude that we received this award. And I, I just wanted to talk a little bit too about um, Indigenous Direction and how we met um, with Big Sister Fast Horse here. We met in 2015 at an art equity gathering. And we were just the two only Native and Indigenous folks in the room. And we said, hey, let's do this, let's do this. S-T-O-O-D-I-S, -O -O do this. And we wanted to take action and tell our own stories in our communities and really believed in the in our communities about make creating art. And so we developed various indigenous culture protocols and ways of looking at theater in the world. Um, and we wanted to foster and facilitate equitable connections between uh, institutions and our communities. So um, with that, accepting this award and also special shout out to Larissa who has truly truly paved this route in this path and is my teacher and mentor and sister and it is always also a humbling experience to work with such a, a prolific individual an indigenous woman doing this work so I just wanted to give a shout out to you sister too for having me along the journey. Wopilatai. Um, yeah, thank you to my little brother. It has means so much to be able to do this um, incredibly important and um, life changing work with family with my little brother and that means a lot. Um, we represent together different generations where we represent three different tribes and half of a white person. Um, and that's really what our um, philosophy of work is all about in indigenous direction is intersectionality, bringing different communities and people together and helping them understand each other and learn how to work in a different way. The Western art forms, including theater, have been traditionally an extraction industry with indigenous peoples. They, it comes in, it sucks out what it sees as valuable and profits from it without um, profit sharing or power sharing with indigenous folks that are involved. 
And so we really work with com um, companies and communities to try to overcome that model. And we're really excited to see how many theaters have stepped up and how many organizations and service organizations have stepped up with us to do that work and to change the way that they engage with their indigenous communities, indigenous art. And everything we do is about partnerships and um, connecting to local people because that's whose land you're on and that's whose um, backs you're profiting from. And we're excited to see the day when all of American theater is working with their indigenous communities in equitable partnerships and giving them the voice that they deserve that will only make your art stronger and better. And we just really appreciate you um, acknowledging the work we've been doing and we look forward to doing more. Thank you.